Welcome back to Tom Talks. Today I'm here with the Away, the bigger carry-on. And if you watched my previous unboxing video, you'll know I got it a little while ago, but I haven't had a chance to take a trip with it. So I wanted to give you an update after my first trip flying carry-on only with the bigger carry-on. So I did notice it had a little just slight scratching it was all delta flight carry-on um, but i had some white here that wiped off and when i got home i wiped the whole bag off because i i like things clean anyway but with germs one thing i noticed is i like this hard case easy to wipe here you can see a little white just from inside the uh, the overhead compartment on delta because I never checked the bag. So that's, I wanted to show you what it looks like after just one trip. Not too many nicks or anything, but not brand new. Mostly looks very good. Now the wheels, I was very impressed with how it rolled, similar to my other Away bag. And these four caster wheels are in good shape. I also wiped them off just because of the germs. Here's the side. I packed this thing full and I didn't even use the lock, uh, but I know it can work great, but this domestic flight, I didn't even bother with it. The handle worked good all the time, up and down. And with Delta, I didn't use the battery this time. Again, it was a three and a half hour domestic flight, but the battery goes right here. The Delta gate agent, she did ask me, is there a battery in there? And I just showed her no. And that was all, just one agent. They don't want you for Delta to have the battery in as you're boarding the plane. So you have to throw it in your backpack or another bag. It just can't be in the bag. Now, in terms of when I got there on the flight, it was easy to load in the overhead compartment. I mean, what I should say is plenty of room. My flight was not crowded, and I flew Delta Basic Economy, which was actually a great experience, and there was no one else in my row, so I had all sorts of room up there. But the suitcase fit in uh, this way if you think above the compartment i slid it in i think i slid it in yeah long ways and it fit i was on a delta with three flights three seats on each side so a nice big plane and nobody ever gave it a second look here you can see that little bit of white there i think no one ever gave it a second look at the gate in terms of size and i did find a delta sizer at the airport check out my other video where I test this against the sizer and you can see it does fit inside their limits including the wheels which is one thing I like about the way design they really got those wheels tight here because a lot of bags will say they fit but you realize it's only this part they're measuring and it's not the wheels now whether you get caught on it or not but i like to follow the rules and the rules say including wheels so for someone like me who worries about that this bag is perfect because it fits the current airline dimensions which i believe from that video are 22 by 14 by 9 and it includes the wheels and you see how flush they are here so that was really good another uh unexpected surprise was how great my nomadic backpack fit on top this handle the backpack just happens to fit here and the loop was perfect and i made a video on that on the airport so check that out if you have nomadic the um zippers work great again i didn't use the lock but it if you do want to do the lock it's up top here I think I can show right there and it probably would be smart now I have this like I said I wanted to do this update while it's fresh in my mind so this was my first trip with the bag 
and as you know, I have the smaller expandable version as well. And I've taken one or two chips with that. So this was my first chip comparing the hard case. And I just want to show you the inside. This is actually what I had in the bag because what I do, what I've started doing sometimes is I come home and I just do the laundry that was dirty and then I put it all back in so I'm packed and ready to go for the next trip. And I did find the, the bigger carry-on, which is this one. You can look on a Waze website, they'll list the actual like liters, what it fits. I think it's, or, you know, size, but it is bigger than the other one, the normal carry-on. And for me, flying carry-on only, I was glad to get this one because I was able to get more stuff in it. Because I was going to beach destination, so I like to take running shoes, sandals, and uh, snacks. Especially with like COVID travel, they encourage you to bring your own snacks. So I bring some, even though I buy some at my Airbnb, but it's nice to hit the ground running and have the like protein bars I want, stuff like that. So I fit that in here, whereas I think in the smaller one, you know, I just wouldn't fit those in, which is fine. But for me, it's, it's not about buying it. It's more about the time to try to find the oatmeal I like or the power protein bars etc so this was like beach stuff and I got you know I have TSA pre so I didn't have to take this out but my liquids I got a little JBL speaker this is my uh, shave kit bag fits up top here and then for me I got running shoes here and then um, a pair of sandals up top and I wear size 10 so my shoes are bigger. I realize sometimes when I read what people pack, if uh, you have smaller feet that's like a blessing in some ways because your shoes take up less space. But I do like this netting because you can put like those snacks and stuff and kind of just zip them all in and they stay. And that netting, I had it packed tight, didn't rip. You know, one thing I wasn't sure, I've never had a clamshell before and I wasn't sure I loved that because I will tell you the one downside is you need more space to open it like this. So those traditional like at a hotel luggage rack don't work so great for these. But at my Airbnb, I had like a low end table I put it on, but it does pack both sides real well and then if you see here it's quite heavy when i close it it isn't you know wanting to i've got it so full <coughs> excuse me it doesn't want to go close but if you with the hard shell you can really push on it and that's helpful use your weight and look at it's all in there, nice hard shell. So I do feel like you can give it that extra push. In fact, where I was, uh, it was a warm weather destination, but the weather was unseasonably cool. And I had to buy a pair of long pants because I just had jeans along. And I was able, sweatpants, to fit them in here and strap them down and get it in for the way back. So the other thing that's really good are the straps on this side, this compression system, because you see if I take this off, I've got two layers of packing cubes here and these clothes I have in the packing cubes that like compress down, but they're still pretty bulky and without this compression you can see it's above here so doing the compression in my opinion really helps you get more in and it's something I haven't had in other bags so I'm sure there are bags with it but I just well I'm not sure but I like that this has it because you can put your clothes especially clothes and really get them compressed down 
So I'm going to show you that's what I had in, exactly what I had for my trip. Now my trip was five days, four nights. And honestly, I had plenty of clothes, probably more than I needed, except for the cold weather. I could have brought a few more cold weather things. But there, it's closed again, and I was able to get in, get there, and back. And the best thing was, I've always read about flying carry-on only, but I haven't done it uh, exclusively because sometimes I had an airline credit card and I had to get a free checked bag or whatever. But I really loved it this time because I could speed through pre-check and when I landed I didn't have to go get a bag or anything. I just had the bag with me, take all the overhead, put up the handles, start rolling. And the added bonus is when you have a carry-on, you've got it with you, which for me with that nomadic travel pack, gives me a nice place to rest it instead of having it all that weight on your back the whole time. So having the carry-on always gives you something to roll and I think this one, the bigger carry-on, is my ticket for domestic travel because I just really like the little extra space over the regular carry-on and when I'm flying carry-on only it's nice to have and I do like the hard shell. And next trip, I'm gonna, I think, try the the um, battery because my sister has the bag and she said she really liked the battery part. I have another spare battery I had in my backpack, but I think, you know, it'd be handy, the weight in this rolling bag, and I can just pull it out when I get on the flight. Now I know how Delta kind of asked about it. So that would be really easy as well. Um, and a bonus to this bag. You just gotta remember to charge it before you go, but then you always got it in there. So again, this is the Away The Bigger Carry-On update after first flight. You can see good shape, the little bit of white here, and I think that's just from the plane uh, inside of the baggage compartment. But like Away says, the Scratches add character to the bag, so it's kind of a fun thing to have. But I wanted to do the video while it's fresh in my mind. And after I do a couple more trips, I'll try to update you if I have, you know, negative or positive comments. Uh, I tried to do a mix today, the real, what I feel. But overall, I was like really happy with how it performed. And especially the nice rolling and then the way I can just clean the outside when I get back having the nice hard shell. So, hope this was helpful to you. If you have a bag or thinking about the bag, thinking about size, check this video out. If it has been helpful, consider giving it a like. Thanks for watching. See you next time.